Hey guys, Walder. I've been sent a copy of the face editor to make a video about this product, and you can use my affiliate link to help support the channel. First of all, what is face editor? Face editor is a relatively new editor that was built on top of Eclipse to make life easier for phaser developers by including crucial features such as code completion and a built-in HTTP server. When you first load the editor, you will be greeted with a very familiar layout, sticking to the traditional Eclipse layout, however, you can change that by simply dragging the windows around. You can create a new project by going to File, New, Phaser Project. Here you can select from a couple of templates, which contain default code. Each template has a description, which can read and will tell you a bit more about the specific template. When you've created a new project, you can play around with the features of the editor and create something, or you can select from the hundreds of examples that are listed in the example section. The phaser editor also comes with phaser chains, meaning if you want to check out to do something, you don't have to leave the editor to do so. Once you've made the new project, you will see it listed in the project explorer. There you can expand the folder and it will be greeted with some folders. The most important one is the web content folder. That folder will hold everything, from code to graphics and map data. In the assets folder there will be a JSON file stored. There you can load and preview all of your assets. As this is an introduction video, I won't go in detail, but I will leave a link in the description to where you can find the very detailed tutorial on how to use the asset pack file editor. It is very useful and very efficient to use. Now, what's about to come next is a feature that makes Phaser Editor so great, is that it comes with its own level designer. Using canvas files, you can literally drag sprites around and position them. No more hard coding or using complex third-party map editors. With Phaser Editor, you can just drag and drop objects and have them be part of the scene in seconds. There is also a way to make audio sprites using the audio sprite editor, making it very efficient to load and play sounds. There is even a texture atlas editor which can be used to make texture atlases and edit existing ones. To run your project, you can click on the earth icon or simply use the alt f5 hotkey. This will start a local web server, meaning that you won't have to bother with other external programs that take very long to set up. I hope this quick introduction was helpful enough and if you wish to try out the editor you can try out the demo or you can buy it using my affiliate link which will help support the channel. Thank you to Sanfil Kumaran for being my top Patreon this month. You can become my Patreon if you wish to get extra content from my channel. Thanks for watching and goodbye.